Hi guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to discuss the problem that is to swap all odd and even bits. The problem says that given an unsigned integer n, and we are required to devise an efficient way for swapping the odd and even bits with one another in its binary representation. For example, here we give 23 as the input and get 43 as the output. You can see that all the odd bits are swapped with the even bits. Now, how can we solve the given problem efficiently? If we take a closer look at the example, we can observe that the underlined bits which represent the even bits from right to left in 23 have been shifted to the odd positions in the output. And the reverse is done for the odd bits that is the non-underlined bits in 23. The solution based on this observation can be given in three steps. First, get the even bits in the input and shift these to the odd positions. Then obtain the odd bits and shift these to the even positions. At last, combine both of them to get the desired output. So let us go through the various steps one by one. Take the integer x as the input. So first of all, we need to separate all the even bits in x by doing its bitwise end operation with the series of a's in hexadecimal. Note that a in decimal system is equal to 10 and it contains all even bits as 1 whereas all odd bits as 0. Hence, m only contains all even bits of x and that too at even positions. Since these even bits are to be converted to the odd bits in the output, hence we must shift these bits to the odd positions by right shifting m by 1. Now we want all the odd bits from x for which we perform the bitwise end operation of x with the series of 5s in hexadecimal. Because 5 has all odd bits as set and rest all bits as 0, we would only get all the odd bits in the variable say n. And also we need to shift these bits to the even positions. So for that, we left shift n by 1. Finally, we must combine the shifted value of even and odd bits to get the desired output. This combination can be achieved by performing the bitwise OR operation of the even and odd bit integers that is m and n. Let's understand this approach with the help of an example. To make it clear, take the same example of x equal to 23 which has the given binary representation. Now, according to the first step, we perform its bitwise end operation with 0xaa and store the result in the variable named m. Here, we can observe that all the even bits of x are contained in m, which is then right shifted by 1 so that all even bits become odd. Again, we perform its bitwise end operation with 0x55 and store the result in the variable named n. Now we left shift n by 1 so that all the odd bits come to even positions. At last we must combine the shifted values of m and n by performing the bitwise or operation between them. Finally we see that all even and odd bits are swept and we get 43 as the output. For now, since we have clearly understood the solution, let's see how can we go for its implementation. Here we have a function named swap bits, which takes the unsigned integer x as the argument. Now we first perform the bitwise end operation of x with the series of a's in hexadecimal and store the result in even bits. Then we perform the bitwise end operation of x with a series of 5s in hexadecimal 
and I store the result in the variable named odd bits. Now what we do is we right shift the even bits variable by one and left shift the odd bits variable by one to interchange their positions. At last, we combine the even and odd bit integers by performing the bitwise OR operation between them to get the desired output. Moreover, if we are asked to show the answer in one line, then we can have something like this. Here, the first term contains the even bits that have been shifted to the odd positions and the second term has the odd bits that have been shifted to the even positions to calculate the final output. After having understood this, can you suggest the complexity of this approach? Since we require finite number of steps in computing the solution, which does not grow with the input variable x, hence we get the time complexity of the order of 1. Also, the space remains constant throughout the space complexity of the given algorithm comes out to be big O of 1, that is constant space. I hope that you have understood the entire solution. Thanks for watching. Please leave us your comments.